Hey students, I wanted to go over this problem really quick from the notes. So what we have here is we have a photo that's 17 by 11 and you want to put a frame that's the same width in all directions around your photo. And then you want the overall area with the frame and the photo to equal 315 inches of the squared variety. So that means we got to figure out what this to this is and we got to figure out what this to this is. Well right now we could write it with algebra. It's 17 inches across the photo and then x to the right, x to the left. So this would be 17 plus 2 x's. Okay? It's 11 inches tall with an x on the top and an x on the bottom. So the height of our photo and frame would be 11 plus 2 x. So here's our math problem friends. We know that length times width equals area. So we have to take 17 plus 2 x times 11 plus 2x and then set that equal to 315. Okay, so from here I'm going to show you the long method and then I'm also going to show you the shortcut. So this is kind of where the, the path splits. Okay, so we have to multiply this. So what do you mean multiply it? Well, you actually need to make a poly box. Okay, you take a binomial times a binomial, you got to make a poly box. So I'm going to rewrite it as 2x and a 17 times a 2x and 11. It's the same thing, I'm just having the variables go first. So we're going to have a 4x squared, a 22x, that's going to be a 34x, and then 11 times 17 I believe is a 187, but I'm going to double check. Oops. So 11 times 17, what do we got here? Yep, 187, okay, I was right. All right, so rewrite all of this noise. It's a 4x squared. Combine like terms, that's going to be a 56x plus a 187 equals a 315. Now we can't do any of our factoring tricks until it's equal to zero. So rewrite, subtract 315 from both sides. Now it's gonna be equal to zero. Still got the 4x squared plus the 56x, okay? Uh, 187 minus 315 is negative 128. Now it equals zero, so now we can factor it. All of these, oops, there's an X there. All of these have an extra four, so I'm gonna wax out that four. Rewrite, I'm gonna have an X squared plus a 14X minus a 32 equaling zero, okay? So now I can factor it into two binomials. All right, let's see, I gotta find the numbers that multiply to a negative 32 and then add to a 14. Okay, so we're breaking down 32. Let's see, 32 divided by 2, 16. I think I can make, yeah, I think a positive 16 and a negative 2 are going to be my magic numbers. Okay, so my binomials would be x plus 16, x minus 2, which means my solutions would be a negative 16 and a positive 2. So of these two, uh, possible answers, which one would make sense? Uh, you probably can't have a negative 16 inch frame. So I'm guessing this one would be the best answer. Okay, this would be the real solution. This one was just like a theoretical one. Okay, so x equals two, we found it. Okay, so your two, your two, your two, and your two. Okay, so it used to be 17 plus two x, but now it's 17 plus two plus two. So it's actually gonna be 21 inches across this way. And then 11 plus 2 plus 2 is going to be 15, so it's actually going to be 15 tall. So let's double check. Oops, sorry, 15 inches. Should label my answers. Let's see what 21 times 15 is. Got them. <clears throat> okay, so that is the super duper crazy long method. The best method is to put this in your calculator. Okay, put that in as a function, y equals this. And then you go to the table and you guess and check until you hit 315. That would be the, I don't want to say the shortcut, but that's going to be the uh, efficient way to get the answer. Okay, this is kind of, ugh, takes a lot of time, it's a lot of steps, but you can find the answer in a matter of seconds. It just depends how good you are with your calculator. So what do you do? You go to y equals, okay, I have a different problem in there, so let me get that out of there. Okay, so what's going to happen when I go 17, oops, I need a bracket, yeah, I did. 17 plus 2x, close the bracket, new bracket, 11 plus 2x, okay. Go to, now make sure your uh, table set is ask. Remember you want to ask the independent, that's you put it in and then it automatically give you the tip dependent. So you get put in the X values and the Y values come out. Okay, so I have the table filled out because I did a problem earlier so let me get rid of all this stuff. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, so now you just start to guess and check, okay? If I want a one inch frame, okay? What does it need to be? 
Okay, 247. I want to hit 315. Okay, one inch frame. Let's try three inches. Oh, that's too much. Let's try right in the middle. Boom, got it, two inches. Okay, so you guess and check inch amounts until you actually get the answer. Now, if you want to take this one step further, watch this. So here's the area, right? On Y2 and Y3, I'm actually going to type the individual length and the width or the height. There, Those things are always interchangeable. Okay, watch this. Okay, so you see where my answer was two inches? It not only gives me the, my area, but it also gives me my length and my height. Okay, so the calculator, as you can see right here, is extremely, extremely powerful. You plug stuff in, guess and check until you get it, or you can do all the algebra. I leave the choice up to you, but for me, typing in the length times the width, the length and the width individually, and then using the table to guess and check is going to be quite powerful. Okay, that's it. We'll see you in class. Goodbye.